So a very, very long time ago, I made this video, talking about the strongest NBA players of all time. Today, we're making this video again, but this time looking at the 2019 NBA, and looking at which players are the strongest currently. So without further ado, let's start the list. Here are the 8 strongest NBA players today. Before I get started with the video, I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can reach a thousand likes for the next video. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you never miss an upload. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram as well. With that said, let's get on with the video. Firstly, I have some honorable mentions. Pound for pound, Russell Westbrook has been one of the strongest players in the NBA ever since he entered it. His ferociousness, his attack, it was not only his athleticism that allowed him to finish at the rim, but also because he was just genuinely such a strong player. Then you've got the big men like Serge Ibaka in his prime and Julius Randle today. These two guys are just big men that you wouldn't want to get hit by a screen on. And then the last honorable mention is Andre Iguodala, who doesn't really get talked about as being one of the strongest players, but his frame, his arms were insane. It allowed him to basically guard any player on the court. It also allowed him to finish around the rim, and he was a very, very strong player. He's toned down a little bit since being in Golden State to keep up, as he's obviously a bit older, but in Denver, he was a beast. Anyway, let's start it off at number eight. Blake Griffin has been one of the strongest players ever since he entered the NBA. His size and athleticism made him one of the elite talents. In the first year in the NBA, he was named an all-star, but before even making the NBA, his strength was immense. In a pre-draft camp, he wowed scouts by doing 22 repetitions on the bench press. According to Draft Express, Blake Griffin did 22 repetitions on the bench press at a weight of 185 pounds, which is just insane. And ever since he's been in the NBA, despite his injuries, he's never toned down. He continues to be a monster on the court. He controls the low post, and even more so since he's not as athletic anymore and doesn't yam the ball down as much as he used to. But Blake Griffin, even entering the NBA, was just a freak of nature. At number 7, Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe entered the league as pound for pound one of the strongest players in the game. At just 6 foot 1, Jamal Crawford gave him the nickname Mini LeBron when he was on the Clippers. It's because they were obviously both built like tanks. They were freak athletes who could finish around the rim with ease. And especially Eric Bledsoe considering he was just 6 foot 1. He used to body other players on his path to the rim. Of course Bledsoe is once again much shorter. And at the time of being drafted, Eric Bledsoe was 6 foot 1 at 200 pounds, which obviously he's slimmed down since then as he's gotten older, but he's still pound for pound one of the strongest players in the NBA. At number 6, Dwight Howard. Yeah, Dwight Howard's lost a lot of weight since being in LA. He's not the same Dwight Howard as the Orlando Magic Dwight Howard or even the Los Angeles Lakers Dwight Howard that was first there with Kobe. This Dwight Howard is slim, but he is still extremely strong. Dwight Howard still possesses massive arms. And he could do an insane 365 pounds on the bench press. Even today, his strength is intimidating on the court. And even though in Orlando, when he had that huge frame, he was still extremely athletic, allowing him to be an MVP candidate and three-time Defensive Player of the Year. Back in his heyday, he was nicknamed Superman. He had a chiseled body and bulging biceps. And unlike Eric Bledsoe and Blake Griffin, he didn't enter the league as being this big. He worked on his physique, and each year he got bigger and bigger and bigger. And putting up 365 pounds on the bench press is just insane. At number 5, Jimmy Butler. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Jimmy Butler. 6 foot 6, 230 pounds. And he is just a ball of muscle. It allows him to lock up any player in the league. He can also finish around any player, and he's able to move even the biggest of players. To give you an idea of how strong he really is, Kawhi Leonard is stated as one of the strongest players in the league as well. He is 6 foot 7, closer to 6 foot 8. I mean, when you compare him to LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard matches up. Butler is 6 foot 6, closer to 6 foot 5, because when you compare him to James Harden, who's 6 foot 5, or Dwayne Wade, who's 6'3, six, 6'4, six, Butler is not that much taller. Anyway, Butler is 6 foot 6. 230 pounds. Kawhi Leonard is 6'7", 6'8", at 225 pounds. In addition, Butler has seemingly got bigger in his transition to the Miami Heat. He's worked on his body over the offseason, and he's not only fitter, but he's also looking a lot bigger. Number 4, Giannis Antetokounmpo. For perspective, before Giannis was drafted in 2013, he stood at 6'9", and weighed 190 pounds. We all know he entered the league pretty skinny. 
Last season though, he stood at 6 foot 11 and weighed 222 pounds. This has obviously been very scary for the NBA, as the past MVP has controlled last and this season and is still so young, but the best is yet to come. Here's a story comparing The Rock and Giannis. According to the sports section in an article written by Jai Bednell in news.com.au, The Rock claimed he was bionic from the waist down after posting a new hip thrust personal best of 460 pounds or 209 kilograms and he shared the footage of the feat on Instagram. But there's also somebody else who can do that. The MVP contender Giannis Antetokounmpo claims to have added 23 kilograms of pure muscle since he entered the NBA back in 2014 and his muscles aren't just for show. Alongside his teammate Pat Connington, Giannis raised the bar and issued a challenge for The Rock to come lift with him in the Buck so-called Iron Paradise while thrusting 570 pounds or 259 kilograms. The Rock, what's up man? Two big fans here. We see what you're doing down in your Iron Paradise. We tried to bring an Iron Paradise to the NBA here in Milwaukee. You know, we may look stronger than us, but we think we both live more than you. Come visit Milwaukee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Onto the Kubo is 24. The Rock is 46. But still, this is just insane and is extremely impressive. In addition, on the court, he is still a monster. He's getting as many dunks as the game as anyone has ever gotten since Shaquille O'Neal whilst leading the Bucks to the best record in the NBA last season and of course this season too. Number 3. Zion Williamson Almost no other player compares in size and athleticism to Zion Williamson, who's listed at 6'7", 285 pounds. There's no other way to put it, he's a freak of nature that will only get stronger as he grows up and turns into a grown man. Think about it, he's 19 years old. Imagine when he's 24, 25, 26 years old. That is just scary to me. Obviously, he'll probably lose some of the chubbiness on him and he'll turn all of that into muscle in the weight room. The hype around Zion Williamson has only continued to build as he's obviously not played in an NBA game yet, but in the preseason, we saw him absolutely dominate players in the paint and players that are grown men. And he was still doing what he did in college against teenagers. Zion at the moment is officially listed at 6 foot 7 at 285 pounds. To put that into perspective, Shaquille O'Neal at 7 foot 1 weighed 294 pounds during his freshman season. Zion and Shaq are not too dissimilar in age at this point in time. So Zion getting bigger is just a scary thought. In addition, Charles Barkley is seen as one of the strongest players ever. He was listed at 6 foot 6 at 282 pounds coming into the NBA. And obviously Barkley nor Shaquille O'Neal have the athleticism of Zion Williamson which makes this guy just an insane freak of nature that is unmatched ever. Number 2, LeBron James. If you think about it, LeBron James is just incredible. He's got a photographic memory, he's got the body of a truck, and the same frame as Karl Malone. He's got some of the craziest bounce of all time, his IQ is off the charts, and he didn't even enter the NBA as a big player. At the moment, LeBron James seems to have toned down a little bit, but in his prime, he was set to be 6'8 at 265 pounds. When he puts his head down and drives to the basket, there isn't a player alive who can really stop him. In addition, he spends more than $1.5 million per year on two personal trainers and on his overall body, which still makes him one of the best players at year 17 and still one of the heaviest players with such high athleticism. Former NBA player Stephen Jackson said guarding LeBron was like guarding a brick wall. And number one, Stephen Adams. I mean, come on. Just take a quick look at Stephen Adams. He looks like Jason Momoa from the Game of Thrones. He is just a beast. He looks more like a fighter, more like a rugby player. And as a matter of fact, in New Zealand, he didn't even pick a basketball up until he was a teenager. So he genuinely has the body of a rugby player. And it's no wonder why nobody ever messes with anybody from Oklahoma because you don't want to face off against Steven Adams. Even though he seems to be the nicest guy, he's still somebody you don't want to mess with. He's considered by many as the NBA's strongest man, and he was selected by the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2013, 12th overall, and he was one of the heaviest guys in the league, weighing 265 pounds or 120 kilos at 7 feet tall, and he's only gotten bigger. Jimmy Butler once accused Stephen Adams of being from Krypton, and the Wizards head coach at the time, Scott Brooks, dubbed him the strongest and most physical guy in the league. And he's also had the reputation of being the hardest screensetter in the NBA. At the end of the day, Stephen Adams was just a monster. 
With that said, let me know which NBA players you think are the strongest players in the NBA. This list is not really in order, but I guess you can put each player in order. Giannis may be higher. But with that said, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Who do you think are the strongest players in the NBA at the moment? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, press the notification button, and follow me on Instagram. With that said, it's been your boy Nick Smith. I am out. Peace.